how to navigate between both of our stores. It's very, very simple to do. Okay, this is very, very simple stuff. Whether you're on a desktop or whether you're on a mobile app, look, when you go to Cam's Crappy Hole, Dot com and it opens up just like this you can see see that red banner right there okay I'm gonna show you how to, number one I'm gonna show you how to port between the two stores then I'm gonna show you how to sign up for our email list which is free okay we send out promo promos um, through our email list two three four times a month so you get to save 10% 15% 20% 25% on our items that we do whenever we send those limited time offers out but it's free for you to do that okay let's port between both the stores now you, as you can see right now I'm on cams crappy hole.com you can see the uh, the slideshow that's going on okay you see that red banner right down there at the bottom okay all you have to do is just click that red banner look you're at cams crappy combos you see that you're at cams crappy combos now all right so in cams crappy combos to navigate in inside this store here, you see those, those three lines right there? It's called a burger. Click that burger, look at the drop-down drawer, opens up. So if you need a, a reel to go with your favorite rod, we sell things separate here, okay? You just need to buy a reel, okay? So in, in actuality, let's say, Cam, I just need a rod to go with my favorite reel. Okay, that's not a problem. Look, we sell our rods separately. You see that red banner? It's still there again. It's always there. See that? You see that at the top or at the bottom? So... If you want to go back to camscrappyhole.com, look, boom, you're right back at camscrappyhole.com, and there's that red banner. So that way you don't have to punch in the URLs and do all of those items. And look, at the top left-hand corner right here, look, there's the burger again. See the drop-down drawer? So if you want to go to uh, gift cards, tackle, and apparel, look, there's an option. Just click the plus emblem. Click the plus em emblem, and another drop-down drawer will open up. Okay? So... If you want to go to Rod Combos, click Rod Combos, and it'll take you right there to Rod Combo. To sign up for our mailing list, you can see them at camscrappyhole.com. Look, when the page opens up, scroll all the way down to the bottom. All the way down to the bottom. Look at those items. This is just the front page. And you'll see one last video. See that one last video? Once you get to that one last video, right up above that, you'll see sign up for our mailing list. Very, very simple to do, guys. And it's free. Just punch in your email address and hit enter. Where did Poppy go? All right, boys and girls, this is your boy Cam with Team Cam's Crappy Hole YouTube Fishing slash manufacturer slash supplier. Um, I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have given me for 10 years now since I posted my first YouTube video. Look at here comes this other little rascal here. Here he comes. Marley finds everybody. He has to come and say hello. Um, <clears throat> I see you, Marley. Listen. Uh, Poppy's around here somewhere. I don't know where she took off to, but she's around here somewhere. Uh, go see if you can find her. Um, listen, this time of the year, we're in pre-spawn, guys, and I want you guys to know that this is the easiest time to catch crappie. Easiest time to catch crappie. All you need to do is get you some curly tails, uh, and they're either in creek beds or they're in coves or they're in shallow, super shallow water depending on uh, geographically where you're located. Some of you guys are getting ready to run up on spring. I'm gonna handle this in two different parts today, okay? Uh, the first part that I'm gonna show you guys is when you're out there this time of the year, uh, fishing for crappie, you're nine times out of 10, you're gonna hook into something that you don't wanna hook into, okay? That's if you just strictly go out looking for crappie. Me, that's all I fish for. That's the only fish that there is in fresh water is crappie to me, except when the shell crackers and the big bluegill start running. Um, I want, to, I, want, I want to show you guys something. The reason why I got the poles, I got two chairs. I got one chair over here, and I got one chair right here when I want to stop and talk to you guys and look you directly in the eye, okay? But the other one, you know, most of my videos, you're, you're sitting right over my shoulder, and that's what I'm going to show you during this video. Okay, so, look, let me show you this. I can't speak for anybody else. I know just about, in, in this manufacturing business, you'd be surprised how small the community is, okay? Um, my rods are pure carbon fiber. That's all I run is carbon fiber rods. I don't use graphite, I don't use composite, and surely don't use fiberglass. Okay, that's back in the 70s. The reason why my rods are so like this, guys, is because they're ultralights. All of my rods are ultralights. Okay, they're designed to catch crappie, panfish, trout, bluegill, brim, all those, all those panfish. That's what they're designed for. And all of my rods are counterbalanced. So this, this reel is made for this rod. Okay, all of my reels are made for my rods because they're ultralight. Now, whether you want a six foot, 
whether you want a 6'2 or whether you want a 6'6. Six, six. That's up to you. But my point is, guys, the reason why we make them out of carbon fiber, and you guys have heard all the stories, listen, if you're not up on carbon fiber, just Google it. Just Google cams, I mean, just Google uh, carbon fiber, and you'll be able to see how strong this substance, this, uh, this substance is. Now, also, this material. And also, you got to remember that it's extremely, extremely sensitive. So when you're throwing my rod, you're hitting the spots where you want to hit, which is what I'm going to illustrate to you guys here in a second. Now, the reason why you want my rod. Cam, well, why do I need your rod? Explain that to me. Number one, I lowered the gear ratio in all of my reels to 5 one to one Most of you guys that are bass fishing or you use that same rod to bass fish, they're geared 6-4 to one 6-3 to one 6.5 to 1, that means the retrieval is fast. Now you got to remember, you're going from cold water into warm water. So the fish are still a little bit lethargic depending on where you're living, okay? So you're getting out there zipping that jig by them. How many times have you heard me say on my videos, guys, slow that jig down. If you want one tip from me, slow that jig down. My reels are automatically designed to do that. Plus every single one of my reel and rod combos come with free shipping. Okay, if you want just a rod by itself, I got you. You want a reel by yourself, I got you. Okay, if you want the combo with plastics, with nasty bin hooks, I got you. In camscrappyhole.com, you can see it right down there, guys. I have over 1,100 products in that one store. So much stuff, guys, that we had to add a second store, Cam's Crappy Combos. Okay, in Cam's Crappy Combos, and you'll see before the video, that red banner that's at the bottom or top of either one of my websites, you can port back and forth between the videos. Stay tuned to it. It's either at the end of the video or it's at the beginning. And it just shows you. You punch in camscrappyhole.com and you can easily port the Cam's Crappy Combo just by click clicking that red bar. Very simple to do. Okay. Now, when you're out there casting and retrieving, okay, this is how you're going to differentiate between a bluegill slash brim bite or a bass bite I don't know why in the world anybody want to fish for bass or a crappie bite okay this is how you're going to distinguish let me get set up here real quick and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys this is how my videos are okay you're sitting above above my shoulder and you're watching me fish all right so when I'm casting and retrieving, this is what I'm doing. I'm always looking for anything that's in shallow water, structures, branches. Listen, don't sit there and outthink yourself. If you see a stump in the water, you see a, a brush pile in the water, you see limbs in the water, throw it over there. Remember that old saying, if you're not getting hung up, you're not crappy fishing. Okay, let me show you this. Boom, you throw, right? I want you guys to, to remember this. These are simple tips that you can incorporate when you get hooked up with something big and you know it's not a crappie, this is what you, what you do. When you get hooked in and you feel a sort of like an a automatic weapon, you're going to feel a head shake. It's like that. That's a bluegill. That's a brim. So you're reeling a steady reel and you feel like that. That's a bluegill. That's a brim. Reason why their mouth is not big enough and on occasions you may hook one okay, with your jig. But generally, they bite the tail, and a lot of times they'll pull the tail off of your jig. Okay, that's a bluegill or a brim. Okay, they remember now they got to eat too. All right, so I want you guys to remember that. Okay, so we're throwing again. Now remember, this rod is ultra sensitive. Sensitive. Okay, like only Cam's rods are. There are only a couple of people out there that I know that use carbon fiber as their rods. Okay, I know just about all the manufacturers out there, believe me guys, and I only know a couple of them that use carbon fiber. Alright, so you're casting again. Boom. Alright, you're reeling, you're retrieving it in, and all of a sudden your rod stops. That's a bass. You didn't feel anything, but that rod stops. You know you're hooked up with something. You don't feel nothing. All you feel is your, your jig stops, your winding stops, your line tightens up. That's a bass. Okay. In the event that you got a bass on, okay, number one, they run sporadic. Number two, eventually they're going to jump up out of the water. That's going to let you know that you're dealing with a bass. And if you get a big bass, he's going to try to take you out in the deeper water. That's the main thing he's going to try to do. Okay, so you're hooked up with a bass, right? 
I've seen countless people do this. Oh, they reel. They sit there and they reel. Now remember, your drag isn't set. If your drag is too tight, two things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to snap that line, number one. Or number two, at worst, you're going to break your pole. One of those two things are going to happen because you're dealing with a, a big bass, four, five, six, seven pounds, okay? And a lot of you guys in the heat of the action get nervous. You don't know what to do. Guys, you got to calm yourself down and you got to think what you're dealing with. The reason why you're out there crappy fishing is because you know in your mind what, what fish feels like when you get that hit. A bluegill, brr, brim, brr, bass, it stops. Okay, now, let me show you this. That's why I changed seats. You're casting, boom, all of a sudden it stops. When it stops, this is the first thing I want you to do. If your drag is not set properly, get that rod tip up in the air. Get that, that's the first thing you do, is get that rod tip up in the air because I guarantee you that bass is gonna go on a run. And listen, when he goes on a run and you got that rod tip up in the, in, the, in the air, remember now, this rod is an extension of your arm. You can only do so much with your arm. You can only do so much, you follow me? With your arm. But if you got a six foot, six two or six six, you got it up in the air at 12 o'clock. So when he does a run, guess what all you gotta do with your arm? Lower it, lower it, okay? That allows for mistakes, let him run, okay? So if you got your rod tip here, down towards the water, he makes a run, that line's gonna snap. But if you got it up here, you got room for error. Pick that rod up, extend your arm to 12 o'clock. That's what you wanna do. So when he does his run, you got, you got leeway with that rod. Okay, now, you got a big bass on, you got the rod tip up in the air, right? You got the rod tip up in the air. He does a run. Your drag is not set. Let me tell you this, I talk to so many people that do not properly set their drag. I did on my channel. I did a, a, a video, a segment showing you guys how to set your drag with Gatorade bottles. Okay, 16 ounce bottle, 20 ounce bottle. I showed you guys how to set your drag properly before. You, th listen, this is the th this drag is the most single important item on this rod and reel combo. Your drag. I set mine by feel now. Okay, mine has a click system. You can hear it click. Okay. I got a click system. So let's say in the event that you got your drag set too tight and you got a big bass on, okay? And you're up at 12 o'clock, he's already running and he's still running, but your arm can only do so much. You know what you do? Look guys, this is simple stuff. Start training your mind because I'm telling you, it's gonna to happen to you when you're fishing pre-spawn, you're gonna hook up with something that you don't wanna hook up with. And once you realize it's a big cat or a big bass, you gotta do something. You don't wanna break your rod and you don't want the fish to get away. Me. I prefer the bass to, or the cat to get off. I don't care about them, okay? Now, he's running and your rod is coming down 10, 1, 2 o'clock. This is what you do because your drag's not set. Strip, boom, boom, strip. You strip, boom, let him run. Hold that rod tip up in there, strip. It's easy for you to strip, listen to the drag. You strip, that's all you gotta do, strip. When he does another run, you strip, okay. Now he's coming back towards you. Reel up. Get that rod tip up in the air. He's going to get tired after a while. Big bass don't swim for too long. They're going to give out. Cats are totally different. That's something else. Okay? He's going he's to get tired. Okay? So you reel. Let him run. He takes off on another run. Rod tip up in the air. Strip. This is simple stuff, guys, you can do. Because nine out of ten, ten times, you guys don't pre-calibrate your drag system. Okay? It's too tight. So when it's too tight, guys, strip. That's all you have to do. Okay? Strip. Okay. Now. That covers the bass and the catfish. You can tell I'm talking a lot, guys. I'm trying to give you a drink of water with a fire hose. I don't care how many times you've heard me say that. I still do it because I get excited. This is what I like doing fishing, okay? So, you're throwing. Now remember, in your mind, you know you're fishing for, cat, for, for crappie, okay? Look, Pop, uh, Marley just ran by, he was in the water. You know that you're fishing for crappie. This is unmistakable, guys. This is, a matter of fact, let me get over here. Listen. This is unmistakable. You got that rod in your hand. This is what you're waiting to feel. A single thump, boop. That lets you know that you got a crappie. Single thump, boop. Now, when you're casting, automatically in the back of your head, you're thinking, I'm waiting for that single thump. It's unmistakable. Crappie always bite like that, a single thump. One single thump. 
bass, your jig will suddenly stop, an abrupt stop, okay? And he's trying to take you into deeper water. Bluegill, brim, it's like an automatic weapon. Rapid fire. You'll feel the head shake. Why? Because these super sensitive rods. It allows you, plus this split EVA grip right here, look at the contact. You see how much hand I got on my rod and reel? That's that soft EVA split grip, okay? It allows you to tell what's going on at the other end of that line. That's very, very important. That's why you want a ultralight rod and reel. So I'm telling you, let's recap one more time. Brim, you'll feel it. It's unmistakable. They'll bite the tail off of your jig. That lets you know that's a bluegill. Get away from that area. That's not where you want to fish, okay? So, where did Poppy go? I hear a drone. I can hear it, but I don't see it. Okay. I, I can hear it, but I don't see it. Okay. Let's get back to it. Um, bass abruptly sh it sh it stops. Your jig is going to stop. Now remember, bass got to eat too. Bluegill got to eat too. Brim got to eat too. Okay? I'm running what's hot for me right now, that fireball red, that fireball blue, blue, black, and chartreuse, and red, black, and chartreuse, and black, and chartreuse, and monkey milk, and chartreuse. Guys, I'm telling you, you have to do not leave shore without an assortment of colors because one day they'll bite that blue, black, and chartreuse. Next day they want the fireball red. That's just how they are. Okay, going back to what I was speaking of. It is unmistakable when a crappie bites. Boom, you're going to feel one thump. That's all you're going to feel. That's why we call Atlanta, a.k.a. Thump City. Okay? Um, that's something, guys, that will make it easy when you get out there and you're fishing. Because when spring starts getting here, like it is for us right now down here in Atlanta, Georgia, everything is excited. The water, you can see the fish, they're very active. So you're going to hook into a bass. You're going to hook into a cat. You're going to hook into something that you don't want to hook into. But as long as you take these little tips with you guys, you'll be okay. Okay? Listen, one other thing I want to show you guys, tackle box. For those of you that think you may need a tackle box, I got one for you. I'm going to show you my personal tackle box, and then I'm going to show you what's inside of it, okay? Hold tight. This is your boy Cam. Yank! This part of the segment isn't for everybody. I'm looking for a few people that possibly may be in the market for a backpack tackle box, okay? If you're in the market for a backpack tackle box, this is the one that you want, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, hold on. Let me see if I can get some of these items out of here so I can show you guys. The, the height of this taco box is 22 inches high, okay? And it is 15 inches wide, okay? And it is seven inches wide. So let's see, you got the height, you got the width, am I correct? Height, width, and diameter okay side diameter all right so this is a big tackle box and it's designed I had to make sure I had that right it's, it's designed to always no matter what you have in here it's always designed to make sure that it's, it stands upright so you can put it on your boat so you can store it away without a problem see the cleats under the bottom listen this one right here is six years old okay it's six years old and look at this. I want to show you. I want to show you. Just kind of go over some of the, some of the features of it. In the top storage area, look. I got a scully in here. A cam scully. <laughs> look. I got top and bottom rain suit. Okay. Plus, I got a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Hooks, plastics. Look. D batteries. Um, more packets bobbers i got everything you can put a 12 pack of coke just in the top part alone a 12 pack of coke in the top part okay so that just covers just the top compartment on the sides you got your quick release the things that you need really quick on the sides with this net okay remember i'm rough on bags this thing here is six years old and i haven't had a thing to go wrong with it okay plus you got compartments up top for storage okay I keep my 
my nasty bin live minnow hooks up top and my split shots okay plus you got over here on the side another storage area look I got two pair of gloves in here look I even got a, a can a, a, a can opener okay this this thing here is designed to make sure that you do not leave anything at home everything that you need one of your buddies gonna come up to you and say hey cam what time is your flight leaving because your tackle box this may possibly be the last tackle box that you ever purchase okay um how many times you've been on the boat and man who got the needle nose pliers who got the needle nose pliers look you got a spot for two needle nose pliers i always know where my needle nose pliers are look check this out and you got a storage up front look i got my light in here more plastics of course you know i got a whole bunch of plastics in here Look, screwdriver, pair of vice grips. Look at this. Look at this. Vice grips. I got everything in here. Look at this. Screwdriver, two screwdrivers in the front. Everything, Phillips head and a flathead. Bobbers, plastics. I got everything that what I need up here in this front storage. Now remember, that's on top of this one, this one, this one, and this one. And you got the exact same thing on this side over here. You remember I got my uh, tape measure over here, glove, two pair of gloves over here, can opener over here. Um, and listen, that's still not even the good part. And also on the opposite side, you got another fast hatch. Okay, so you can quick, you have quick access to things that you can see. Okay, plus you got another, look, look at this. Plus you got another storage bin. If I can find the zipper. There you go. Right here. Another storage bin. So everything that you need, guys, is in this backpack tackle box let me show you the rear look straps they're adjustable okay so you put it on your back and you carry it like a backpack plus you have this this handle that I, I use probably 90% of the time okay so as soon as you set it down it stands straight up no matter how much you got in here my tackle box right now weighed it a couple of nights ago is 21 pounds 21 pounds but listen that's still not the best part of this backpack check this out look at this now it's going to come brand new like this. You can see the, the, the color difference. This is coming plastic. And on top of that, look at this. Boy, the geese are just going crazy. Look at this. You get four trays, big trays, like this. Even has a, 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 a ruler so you can measure your fish, 12 and in, 13 inches. Look at this. You get four of these shrink wrap for all your items. Four of them. Okay? They come brand new, and plus this comes with free shipping. Look, that's one. Here's another one. I don't even think I've used all of them. Look, here's another one. Big, big, big trays. Big trays. So how many of you guys still carrying that Herman the Monster lunchbox tackle box? <laughs> Listen, guys, you got to come forward. This is 2024, where well, you open it up and your jigs are in your plastics, your hooks are in your plastics, your bobbers are stuck together, uh, you got water in it. Uh, the hooks are rusted. Guys, you don't have to do that no more. You know, it was okay when you were 14, 15 years old, but now you're a grown man or woman. Okay? So we snap that closed. Look, put it right back in there and it zips back up. Okay, you get four of those trays. And guys, on top of that, last but not least, it's water resistant. Okay? Comes with free shipping. We got them ready to go. I only ordered a so many of them has it's it's royal blue with safety y yellow brand new all the the uh the uh plano boxes are shrink wrap okay so it'll come directly to your doorstep guys and all you got to do is just take your old stuff them old rusty hooks and put them in here now you're ready to buy you some new equipment listen guys uh if you're in the in in the neighborhood for a backpack tackle box you're you're in the market this is the one that you want quite possibly the last tackle box that you ever buy listen also I want to tell you guys um, if your weather is up and down like ours is down here in hashtag thump city Georgia Atlanta Georgia just wait a couple of days if the crappy stop biting don't leave the water too long always remain on the water 48 hours you're back out there again any change in weather you make sure you get back out there okay the winds high one day and the next day is, is calm get out there okay crappy is just that funny and anything that you guys need, and I want to say this to you last but not least in closing, I have my own finance company. You can either go through shop pay or after pay. On shop pay, I can finance you up to $100,000.
I can finance anything. You need a boat, you need two boats, I got you. You need a backpack tackle box, you need two. You need a rod and reel combo, you need anything, I can finance it. I can finance a pack of hooks and I'll break it up into payments for you, okay? I'm the only one that does that, guys, that's, that's on the water 20, 20, 20, uh, 25 hours a day, eight days a week. Cam is the only one that does that. He has his own backpack tackle box. He has 170 different rod and reel, different rod and reels on the market. 8.2 million pieces of plastics. Um, I'm, you know we're the home of the nasty bin hook. And listen, if you don't, if you've never tried any of my hooks, ask one of your buddies that may have them. Ask them. And on top of that, in closing, every single rod and reel combo that we have, guys, we give you an accidental replacement for life. Call me, Cam. I just broke my rod. Boom, no problem. All you gotta do is pay shipping and handling, and it's on its way to you two-day air. For life. We back you. We're still fishing with you after you've shown us love. You guys are my board of directors. You won't see no sponsors here. You won't see any of that. Only Cam's items. Okay, so when you call me, you have a problem. I know it's my item, and I'm the one that's going to help you. Listen, till next time, guys, keep those hooks wet, keep those lines tight, and we'll see you on the next turn.